Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Coach Auto with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to unsubscribe a subscription using the on destroy hook. Perhaps you're already doing that. We will see then how to unsubscribe a subscription using the destroy ref. And last but not least, we will see how to use the take until destroyed. So let's get started. Here I have this piece of code where into the constructor I have the interval and every thousand milliseconds, every second, what I'm doing is that I'm emitting a value. And it will go now to the browser. And if I go to the dashboard where into this component I have the subscription, what we can see into the console is that we have this kind of emissions. Nice. So let's go back again to the VS Code. And what we are seeing here is that we do not have any unsubscription. And you might be wondering, and what is the problem with this one? Well, the problem is that we have the memory leak. Let's go back from dashboard to the home. At this point of time, the component has been destroyed, but please bear in mind that the subscription still remains. And as you can see, the counting keeps going on. And now, if from home we click again dashboard, we can see now that we have two different listeners, two different subscribers. And again, from users to dashboard, then things going crazy. We have three different subscribers. And of course, one solution to this one is that we have to unsubscribe. So let's do that by using the on destroy hook. And what I'm going to do is the following. I will create here this dot subscription equals this interval. And of course, I have to declare a property subscription and this is of type subscription. And now what I'm going to do is the following, this subscription unsubscribe. Now again, let's go back to the browser to see what we have. Now we are into the dashboard and as we can see here into the console, we have this log. And now if I go to home, as we can see, the counter stopped at 14 which means that we have successfully unsubscribed. And now if I go back again to dashboard, we can see that the counter starts from zero, which means that we have just started a new subscription, but the previous one has been destroyed. Nice. But perhaps you're already doing that. Now let's see how to unsubscribe using destroy ref. And for this purpose, I will delete this line. And also I don't want to have this guy here. And what I'm going to do is the following. I want here to have my destroy ref equals, I will use the inject function and I want to inject the destroy ref, this guy. So what is happening with the destroy ref is that it is allowing to register a function and that function is being called whenever the component or the directive is being destroyed. So now I'm going to do here into the constructor the following. This destroy ref on destroy. And into the on destroy, I will provide my function. And my function will be this subscription unsubscribe, which is sort of the same thing with the on destroy hook. And we expect this to work. Now let's go back again to the browser. And as we can see, we are into the dashboard, the counting going on. And then if I go back to home, as we can see, again, we have stopped at 14. And if I visit again dashboard, it seems that the counter starts from zero and everything seems to work fine. Please bear in mind that you can use the inject function only into the constructor, into the class fields or a factory method. And this is where we have the injection context. Since we now have seen how the destroy rev works, Let's now go and do the following. I'm going to create a function and I will name that my take until destroyed. My take until destroyed function. And this guy will do this thing. This destroy ref on destroy. And then we will have here this subscription unsubscribe. So let's grab this and I will paste it here. And you know what? I want also to move this line into this function. And I want to do some more modifications. For example, I want to grab the inject and do it like that, which is the same thing. 
we are injecting the destroy ref and immediately we are using the onDestroy function where we are providing this callback function. Nice. And again, bear in mind that you have to use this inject function only into the injection context, which means that if I now try to use this method into the constructor, this dot my tech until destroyed, we expect everything to work as expected, which means that we do not have any error here, and if I go to home, as we can see, the subscription got destroyed. And again, if we go back to dashboard, the count starts from zero. Nice. How about now, if I go on for any reason, I go on to invoke this method anywhere else other than the constructor or the injection context. So let's say that I go on to have this guy into the onInit hook. And now I will grab this one and I will paste it here. Let's go to the browser to see what is happening. Immediately we can see that we have an error here which says that the inject must be called from injection context such as constructor. Where is the problem? The problem is that we are trying to use this line, inject destroy ref, and since we are into the engine in it, which means that we are out of the injection context, we have this error. So how can we solve that? What we can do is to provide the destroy ref programmatically. Let's do that. I will have here my destroy ref, and the type is destroy ref, and if this guy is being used, I'm going to use this one, otherwise I'm going to use the inject. And let's have it like that. And now, like I said previously, this depends now on the developer. So we have to provide the destroy ref programmatically. I will have here the inject destroy ref, and also I'm going to have the destroy ref as a name. And now at the time that I'm invoking the my take until destroyed, I will also provide here the destroy ref. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. As you can see, we do not have any error. And if I go from dashboard to home, we can see that the subscription destroyed. Nice. So this is what we need to have. But of course, this is just a way to explain how the take until destroyed works. And the take until destroyed is the function that I will explain now. So I will delete this guy and I will delete this as well. I no longer need to have the subscription nor here. And what I'm going to do here into the interval, I will have a pipe. And into the pipe, I want to have the take until destroyed by providing the destroy rep. Or you know what? Let's have it like this, since we are currently into the constructor. The take until destroyed is an RxJS operator which is using the destroy ref behind the hood and has been introduced in Angular 16. And if for any reason you cannot import it using VS Code, you can find it here. So let's see. Import take until destroyed. And this guy is from Angular Core RxJS in the ROP. So again, let's go to the browser. And if I click dashboard, we can see that the counter started and the, and now if I go to home, we can see that everything worked as expected, which is a very neat way to unsubscribe. And you know what? It's a new era of how to unsubscribe the subscriptions, which is very handy to use the take until destroyed. And now how about if I go on to use this guy, the code as is, into the engine in it? What will happen? So let's see. We have this guy here, and now if we go to the browser and click dashboard, again, we are seeing the same error. Can only be used within an injection context such as constructor, factory function, or field initializer. And this is sort of the same thing with what we did previously with my take until destroyed. We have to provide the destroy ref programmatically. And this is what I'm going to do here, this destroy ref. And again, the reason of the error is that we are out of the injection context. And now let's go to the browser. And as we can see, we no longer have this error. And if we go to the home, the subscription just got destroyed. So that was it. Thanks for watching.
please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.